Today my friend Jack Braviak and I, we put in a set of steps and then a stone sidewalk on top. They are tripping over, it was all the wrong heights. So here we go. All right, we're gonna change all these steps and put blue stone yeah, here. This so all fell that's, apart. No, what I mean, I, I'm not so gonna, gonna your fix it. Well, all this stuff right here fell apart. You see it? It ain't holding up. And we're gonna rip all the steps out and go up into there and put them all new, put it on something solid. All this stuff is just laying on modified. See it? So I gotta cut these stones even. Anyway, this fell apart. See this? This is S mortar in Pennsylvania. It don't work outside. So we're getting to the top. This is as far as we're going. And all this is is uh, stone dust. They call it. It's like a real, 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 real fine gravel. That's why it fell apart. Now here's what's going on. That's where you have to go to. So we gotta go with the sidewalk. Sidewalk's gonna come down to here. And we measure to the blacktop. Just like that. And we got 20, 28 inches. So that goes with the curve down. And now we got that. So now what I did was I marked it. You see where all the stone's gonna go. And I'm gonna cut my pattern out. Now, we cut our pattern out, see the pattern, and this pattern we got up against the wall. And it's going to go right even with up there. Well, we're back the next day, and guess what? The owner wants lamp post, one here and one here. So that's the new job today. We're going to do that and then continue the steps. When you're putting these steps in, you can measure all you want got to get it the way it's going to go, exactly the way it's going to go, and put your stone on top, and then you got to figure for your stone in the back, and you know you're good. Now we got our wire in here, see that? And I'm going to start filling it with cement. our steps in and uh, it's going pretty good we got the wire in there not to make a big deal out of it it's all getting covered Okay, for the most part we got that all done. Then we're gonna put the stones on tomorrow and the stones up in there. All right, so what we do is we lay everything out dry, especially with steps, because you don't wanna go wrong with them. So I'm gonna lay my first top stone. 
there if you want. Wet this up a little bit. And our cement in. That's it. See that? That's why we couldn't go that big one. Change with the big board. That's it. That's our pitch. like that. See it? Okay, we're continuing on. Laying our third step. Now we're putting our stones in like this. We sawed them all and now we're going to put them in. So we put them in. You got to kind of wet the back even though it's still wet from yesterday. And you wet the back of the stone like that and then make sure we stick in there good like that put this in and I got my center mark That's it. Okay, we're looking for uh, bad spots from the back here. And uh, yeah, so now we got to clean it all up. We got this all done, so now we're just going to get a sponge, clean it up. So we've got this patio going on here, and right here, it all fell apart because they didn't have no concrete under it. So we came here, put concrete under it. See, they got sand under here. This part has concrete on it, but they used S mortar. S mortar don't work in here. You got to use Portland. So we're going to put all these stones in. So of course we got to follow this line till we get to that point right there. So what I do at the bottom, if you want it to stick, gotta wet the bottom. Bring it up. 
still a little. That's the good side of the stone. Oh. Dampen that a little bit. them as we go. That's there. A little curve here. This one is here. And here. Let's see if she fits. That's it. She fits. Dampen this up a little bit. That's it. There. All right, I'm getting done up here with the patio, see it? And uh, got all my joints in. It's all Portland, no mortar. I'll show you what happened over here. It's all S mortar, right here, see? It's all falling apart. Doesn't work in Pennsylvania. When you're working with Portland, the water comes to the top, see? It comes to the top. So you gotta start cleaning top up. Just like that. Until the water goes away. All right, it's drying up. We did our first run through. We're gonna go back and do it a second time. Okay, we're done for today. Uh, I gotta come back and wash it. That's it. Okay, the next day we're going to straighten this out. Let me get the circuit. the next day so 
that's it it's all done the two piers are up this is all done I washed it it's good one year later and we're looking at everything everything looks good so I want to talk about that job a little bit that was Jack's job and Jack used to play with the Buffalo Bills and he's a lot stronger than me I can't take those jobs no more but anyway S border does not hold up and border on that kind of work in northeastern Pennsylvania. I use two sand, one Portland, on almost everything. Uh, when, you, when you're doing that kind of stuff, you have to make a pattern out. And then you have to come off the old patio, and when you get to your step, your step has to go even. If you go like this, it's going to hold water. That patio's got to go even and that water is going to go right off that step or it's going to be a tripping hazard. You have to go so the water runs off of it. As far as rebar, if you use thick rebar underneath those steps, it's going to expand and it's going to break up eventually. So you could use real thin rebar or I use wire and I wire it all together and then it holds everything together and then when the frost comes in the winter time, it's holding everything together and that's always my biggest fear that's why I waited a full year before I went up and checked on it and put this video on so you gotta eye it up every step you gotta eye it up and you gotta make sure it's not a tripping hazard and you gotta step back every once in a while you're doing this stuff step way back and look because it was on the top of a hill and you'll see bad spots down you won't see them when you're working up on top you gotta step back on your work I think it's a good video if you're doing that kind of work or you're going to do that kind of project. So thanks for watching. I'm Mike Haddock. I'll see you next video.